Hello everybody, outside is minus 2 degrees Celsius, is middle of winter and as you can see we don't have snow at all because there was snow for one week and it's gone. And here are my solar panels, so today hopefully I will be able to make some tests. And here is my solar panel heater, but before I will show it to you, I'm going to show you how I made it. So I have got this old solar inverter and this is quite nice machine. It is not working anymore, but here is really nice, big and fat uh, heatsink. It's aluminium, so I'm going to disassemble it, take out only this heatsink. So here is big fat aluminium heatsink, as you can see, but first I need to clean it. And keep in mind that I was preparing this video for a long time, so I'm going to try to stitch it together to make sense for you. After cleaning I marked where I will put power resistors as you can see here and after that I started to drill the holes for them. After drilling holes I needed to clean area under the resistors so I started to clean it but this paint I don't know what is it but it is it was quite hard it is holding I don't know what it is but it is holding very well by the way under the resistors is good idea to use thermal paste but I don't have any so for this test I am not going to use it but uh, it should it's it's good to use it here I started to think how I can mount fans, there will be two of them, so this place is quite good. Here as you know from previous video I started to prepare a fan and for this fan to lower the voltage I need three of these resistors. Everything is in previous video so I am not going to show you again. And I have found some old LED lights, these are able to handle 48 volt DC so it is quite good for me because panels will, have, will not have more than 50 volts. So I was thinking that I can use them just for fun, they are completely unnecessary, I basically don't need them, it is just showing me when energy will go from solar panel but otherwise I would not use them. But it is quite nice to see and it is quite colorful. I can use one green and one red. And here I found another LED, this is white and this is quite good because it is handling 50 volts and it is still lighting I think under 5 volts as you can see here. So it is pretty low voltage for LED to turn on. By the way, I was preparing this video from summer, so these clips are from summer as you can see here and now is winter, so I will continue testing in winter. Because in summer I have got about 160 watts as you will see and winter is totally different. So this is how it looks and I left this wire here because I can connect and disconnect resistance so i want to measure mppt maximum power point of solar panel during winter as you can see here now i have 12.6 ohms and if i will connect it's less 8.5 6 5 okay, 4 and yeah 3.7 all of them Okay, so I'm going to test it just if it's working. So this is minus. There is not a lot of sun today and it's almost evening. It's almost gone, so. Yeah, good. Nine volts, so yeah, not a lot of sun. And I don't know how many resistors are connected because it's not done.
Yeah. So both are working. Good. Now I need to prepare second solar panel and put cables inside home. Okay, so today I have a bit of time, so I am going to do few modifications to this. I am also going to add this white LED light, because I like it. And uh, again, these lights are not necessary at all, they don't need to be here. But I am going to just do it, because I have them. So I will put light somewhere, I don't know where, like here, it doesn't matter. Then next modification I am going to add this for connecting uh, solar panels so I can connect it easily and modify uh, parallel and serial connection because I will have two panels now and another modification I will have this nice meter I have got this just three days ago and this is really nice because I will just connect uh, load to the one solar panel and this is from 6 to 200 volts and maximum 20 amps so it will show me uh, voltage amperes and how much power it is producing so I don't need to count anything it, is, it, it, it should be really very nice so I will put it somewhere here to this uh, frame which I prepared it should be mounted like this yeah, something like this so now I'm going to connect everything together and continue So this is how it looks like after wiring. So I have connected two extra lights and from this there is basically two solar panels and one solar panel is going to go through this multimeter which will show me. So it is looking very easy, very nice. Yeah, <laughs> to be honest it's not very nice, it is very messy but it is testing for testing purposes so basically I don't need lights I don't need multimeter I don't need this so if it will work final version will be much different will be looking with much different look I don't need these big resistors that one resistor is enough so after testing I will see what will be what will be results so now I need to connect it and see here I was preparing second solar panel because I wanted to connect two panels and I also needed to repair this one because this one has got also broken one cell so I basically quickly uh, disable this one broken cell and prepare this solar panel for my tests. I already did video about how to repair this solar panel when one cell is burned out so I am not going to show you again because this video is getting too long so I need to do it as fast as possible. So if you are interested just search in my videos. Ok, just one more quick test before I will put everything together if I wired it correctly so this is minus this is plus let's see if not there will be big spark ah good yeah so yeah nice 9.7 volts 8 watts because i have my i am not I am covering it with myself, so it's not full power, but it's good, it is working. And together with my two special assistants we connected the cables. So 
So today should be nice and sunny day, whole day without any clouds. I can't see on the sky anything. So it should be good day for my first proper test of this system. It is morning and sun is not shining on solar panels yet. And this is how it looks my test setup. I have added one more switch just to connect both solar panels so I don't have to go and this uh, this uh, disconnect cables or so on so I can just turn it on and off if I will need so uh, yeah one solar panel is going to the meter and another one is without and now I am going to turn it on and nothing because sun is not shining on solar panels there is not enough voltage and also I have got connected all seven resistors in the back so it should be about 170 watt of maximum power for now and yeah I need to wait for sun it's already starting here for now it is just 21 watts 8.7 volts but yeah we need i need to wait a little bit more good now i know that morning star is without any problem and now i need to wait until uh, for full sun and i will see okay so it's middle of the day and solar panels are on almost full sun obviously this is not correct angle for summer but this is for prepared for winter so let's have a look inside and this was still in summer, so I have got about 160 watts in summer. And in the next few clips there will be winter time. And this is running on almost full power, as you can see here, it is 160 watts, uh, 6.8 amps, 23.4 volts. Ventilators are running good and this heatsink is slightly warm it's not hot so I think that it can handle much more power than this it is just slightly warm on touch so it's nice and let's have a look here so this is this produced 461 watts watt hours uh, and it is running for three, almost four hours, three hours, 45 minutes. And this is only one solar panel, so both solar panels produced about 900 watts of power today. And it's still midday. So this is looking good. It's very nice. I will see what it will do in winter. But yeah, this is very very nice so this test is successful and after almost four hours yeah it is nice it's not hot it's nice and warm and about this huh, they are quite hot but not too much yeah this heat sinks is nice and big it's quite good so this was in summer and because this video is getting too long over 15 minutes I am going to end it and I will show you winter result in another video. For summer result as you can see I have got about 160 watts and it was constant. When sun was out I was getting 160, 190 sometime but usually around 160 watts of power and resistors was not very hot because of the fans but fans were quite noisy they were quite noisy because on full power they have quite a lot of rpm anyway i left the solar panel connected uh, basically through rest of the summer and in the autumn as well basically there was no problem at all they were basically running whenever the uh, sun was out no problem at all so I think it has some potential for future 
because if you don't need MPPT inverter you can save a lot of money and basically with running just these passive components like resistors there, there is basically nothing to break. So thank you for watching, in the next few days I will prepare winter update and you will see the results. Thank you again, if you like this video please consider subscribing to my channel and have a nice day.